howdy folks and happy Sunday today's dinner guest is a three pound pork tenderloin they were on sale I couldn't walk by it I'm going to smoke it over applewood and using what I have decided is the best way ever to cook a pork tenderloin wrapped with bacon So let's get started. Now after it's been washed and waxed and patted dry and I've given it its last rites and it's all trussed up, next step a little salt and pepper. Come on now. And just a touch of Tango Joe's Tango Verde for just a nice little bite. Not much. It doesn't take much of this. Now flip it over and do the same on the other side. There we go. And now, the fun part. Bacon. Lots of it. Be generous. And there. And now I go wake up Mr. Grill. Now. Fire in the hole. Now I'm going to bring it up to about 400 degrees to start it. And of course we back up and drop in the apple wood which has been pre-soaked so it will smoke instead of catching on fire usually. Now let it warm up. This is spring in Florida. What we refer to as Jap Dip. Just another perfect day in paradise. Now this is a short cook. It's only going to take about an hour. Because I don't want to overcook the pork. So I'm starting it, I've cranked it up to 500 to give it a start and to get the wood smoking and to help get a quick sear on the bacon. I'll bring it down pretty quick from here to 300 and leave it there for about an hour or until the pork gives me an internal reading of about 135. That's what I'm shooting for. Bingo! You got monsters? Huh? <laughs> you bozo!
Little mess. In the interest of keeping it simple, I'm baking a sweet potato and I'll throw together a medley of broccoli and summer squash and cauliflower with a little onion, maybe some garlic, sauteed in butter, or maybe olive oil. I'll decide when I get there. And with a little fresh basil, since there's an abundance of it. This one took about an hour and 15 minutes but it's exactly where I want it. So now I'm going to tent it and let it rest for about 15 minutes. I decided to do the saute in a mix of a little EVOO and a little sesame oil. For no particular reason, I just wanted to. And I'll start off with the onion. Let it go until it just starts to soften. Get away from each other. It's not allowed. And after they've softened a little, dump everything else in. Okay. Pepper. A sprinkle of thyme. and the basil. And this only needs a couple of minutes. When the squash is tender, it's done. Give it another minute. Hmm. Hot. Fancy that. And done. And meanwhile the tenderloin needs attention. How does it look? About as perfect as it gets. As far as I'm concerned. out of my way. Gimme. Oh my goodness. The bacon wrap takes the tenderloin to a whole new level. Mm. 
Dripping juicy, luscious, and I'm talking with my mouth full. This is the way to do a tenderloin. Fantastic. Add the sweet potato, some butter and brown sugar, the veggies, with a little sesame seed and paprika. A little Chardonnay. And it's time to eat. <laughs> 